you usually don't see wrestlers like The Big Show, Rikishi, Andre the Giant, and more doing high flying moves. However, that's exactly what you're gonna see in this video, starting with The Big Show hitting an elbow drop. This is just a small bit of what the Big Show can do. During his early years in wrestling, the Giant would do a number of moves a man his height and weight should not be able to do. During a match in WCW Nitro, the Big Show took on Macho Man Randy Savage in the main event. A big name opponent like Savage calls for big moves, so the Big Show pulled out this. Never did this. Oh my God! This was not the only time Big Show thought he was a cruiserweight. Years later, when Big Show joined WWE, he found himself in a match against another big man, Test. The world's largest athlete then hit this. In disgust. Oh, oh my God! My God. A Lord. drop kick from the seven footer! Did you see him get up in the air? On another occasion, the Big Show fought another man close to his size, Kane. You would think a match between these two beasts would involve choke slams, chops, punches, big boots, and whatnot, but the exact opposite is what happened. The match comprised almost entirely of grappling and holds, which caught everyone off guard. When's the last time you saw Kane with a hammerlock? I'm shocked. I'm liking it, but I'm shocked. Speaking of Kane, the Devil's Spirit Demon has done some out of character moves for a man his size. During a match on SmackDown, Kane was facing Albert. Albert turned out to be a tough opponent, so Kane realized he would need to use a move Albert wouldn't expect. Could be it! We could have a new champion! Two weeks later, Kane and Albert were back at it again. Like in the last match, the Big Red Machine was gonna need to use some outside the box thinking in order to win, and he did exactly that. Kane in no man's land! Bam Bam Bigelow isn't nearly as well remembered as other WWE wrestlers, but he should be. Despite his size and weight, Bigelow would still perform moves that cruiserweights could do, as seen here. Rikishi was a huge wrestler, but despite his weight, he moved like he was a man a quarter of his size. A prime example of this is the way he would take a clothesline. However, the craziest high-flying move Rikishi ever performed was at Fully Loaded 2000. The man who did it for The Rock was challenging the Intercontinental Champion, Val Venus. Rikishi was willing to do whatever it took to win the title, and I do mean anything. The fact that Rikishi didn't destroy his knees is unbelievable. Before tearing his quad and nearly killing himself trying to dive at Big Show, Kevin Nash would actually do some high flying moves. One such moment happened at the In Your House 2 pay per view. Nash fought Psycho Sid in a lumberjack match for the WWE Championship. At one point, Big Sexy decided just to crossbody the lumberjacks. It was even more impressive see what Nash did at SummerSlam a month later. You have to wonder how much damage those legs are. Whoa! Look at that! Despite being a big wrestler, The Undertaker moved surprisingly well and could perform a number of high risk moves. Still, it feels weird to see the dead man do this. A huge man! Right now. Undertaker! Have they stopped their warring factions and are back on a sinister line! While many would argue that Vader was underutilized in his WWE career, that still doesn't stop him from being one of the greatest big men in wrestling history. Why is that? Just watch this. Look at this. 452 pounds. Oh! The fact that Vader never botched the moonsault is also very impressive, and sometimes he could even do stuff like this. Is it time? No! Oh. When you hear Brock Lesnar in Shooting Star Press, your mind immediately goes to when Lesnar botched the move at WrestleMania 19. However, that was due to the Beast having wrestled an Olympic gold medalist for 20 minutes and being exhausted. Prior to his WWE debut, Lesnar regularly used the Shooting Star Press and performed it successfully. Shelton out of the ring, Brock Lesnar on the top rope, my god! You may not be familiar with Odyssey Jones, but you will be after you see what he can do. Jones signed with WWE in 2019 and weighs just over 400 pounds. Despite that, Jones does things his way. <laughs> Andre the Giant is one of the biggest wrestlers of all time. However, by the time he came to WWE, Andre could barely move. That's why it's so unbelievable to see him doing this. Giants climbing on the ropes. I don't even know if they'll hold him. And that's a giant splash off the ropes. Or this time, where Andre thought he was Jeff Hardy. Moves down, down he comes. Now how tall was Andre the Giant actually? And were there wrestlers who were taller than him? Find out, watch this video. 